everyone! Welcome back to my channel! So, meron na naman tayong panibagong topic, ang parallel lines. Ano nga ba ang parallel lines? So, parallel lines are two or more lines that are the same distance apart, never merging and never diverging. So, ito yung mga example ng ating parallel lines. So, that lines are never ending. So, parallel lines continue forever in two directions. Always the same distance apart. So, meron palang forever. What? Sa parallel lines. A single existing line can have an infinite number of parallel lines. To be parallel lines, both lines must exist in the same plane. They must be coplanar. So, you can construct many polygons out of parallel lines like this. So, meron tayong parallel lines na horizontal. And then, may mga vertical lines and nakaslant lines. Ito yung mapaform niya ng mga polygons. Square, parallelogram, rectangle, trapezoid. So, to symbolize parallel lines in geometry, we use two vertical lines or slightly slanted lines like this. Now, we have real-life examples of parallel lines. So, parallel lines rule the construction industry. Buildings are erected with walls parallel to each other. Ceilings are parallel to floors and one building is usually put up parallel to other buildings on the same block. Notebook paper is a thick collection of parallel lines. When your notebook is closed, the lines are not only parallel on each page, they are parallel from page to page too. So, sa parallel lines, meron pa rin tayong pairs of angles. So, when parallel lines gets crossed by another line, we call it transversal. We can see that many angles are the same. So, these angles can be made into pairs of angles which have special names. Okay, simulan natin. Ito yung parallel lines cut by a transversal line. So, we have here line A is parallel to line B cut by a transversal line D. So, may mga measure na yung figure na yan, no? So, may measure na 110 degrees and 70 degrees. As you can see, dalawang measure lang ang nakikita ninyo. Kasi halos pare-pareho lang ang mga measurement nila. At yung mga pareho na measure na yon, yun yung mga pairs of angles na may special names. So, eto yon vertical angles. So, pareho siya ng measurement, parehong 110. So, hindi lang yan ang vertical angles. Ito pa. So, pangalawang vertical angles ito. And then, meron tayong another pair of vertical angles. And then, another pair of vertical angles. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong apat na pairs of vertical angles. And then, we have corresponding angles. So, ito naman yung corresponding angles. Pareho din sila ng measure. Ayan. And then, another one. And then, another one. So, apat na pairs din ang corresponding angles. Then, we have the third special pairs of angles, alternate interior angles. So, congruent pa rin siya, pareho pa rin ang measurement niya. Okay, so meron tayong dalawang pairs of alternate interior angles. And then we have alternate exterior angles. So exterior, nasa labas siya ng parallel lines. So equal pa rin ang measurement niya. Dalawang pairs of alternate exterior angles. And then we have interior angles on the same side of the transversal. Now this time, hindi na siya equal siya ay supplementary. Okay? So, 110 plus 70 is 180. So, dalawang pairs of interior angles on the same side of the transversal din. And then, ito naman, exterior angles on the same side of the transversal. Another one, exterior angle pa rin siya, no? And we have the linear pair or the supplementary angles. Dito, napakaraming linear pairs at saka supplementary angles. Okay? So, ayan yung unang pair. Then, the second, the third, the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. So, ibig sabihin, walo ang linear pair sa dalawang parallel lines cut by a transversal line. Okay, so practice exercise muna tayo. 
So, we have the same figure as figures in our example. So, let us identify the following. We have vertical angles. We are going to name the angles that are vertical. So, alin ba dyan ang mga vertical angles? We have angle 1 and angle 4, angle 2 and angle 3, angle 5 and angle 8, angle 6 and angle 7. And then we have corresponding angles. Angle 1 and angle 5, angle 3 and angle 7, angle 2 and angle 6, angle 4 and angle 8. And then we have alternate interior angles. So meron tayong dalawang pairs ng alternate interior angles. We have angle 3 and angle 6, angle 4 and angle 5. Then alternate exterior angles naman. Meron din tayong dalawang pairs dyan. We have angle 1 and angle 8. Angle 2 and angle 7. Then, interior angles on the same side of the transversal. So, alin ba dyan ang interior angles on the same side of the transversal? Angle 3 and angle 5. Angle 4 and angle 6. So, dalawang pairs lang siya. Then, we have exterior angles on the same side of the transversal. Meron din tayong dalawang pares. We have angle 1 and angle 7. Angle 2 and angle 8. And then, yung last natin is linear pair or supplementary angles. Ito, meron tayong walong pairs. Okay, simulan natin. Angle 1 and angle 2. Angle 2, angle 4. Angle 4, angle 3. Angle 3 and angle 1. Then, angle 5 and angle 6. Angle 6 and angle 8. Angle 8 and angle 7. Angle 7 and angle 5. So, di ba madali lang? So, I hope ay natutunan kayo sa aking mga tinuro at sana natandaan nyo lahat iyon. Till my next video, goodbye for now!